Welcome back to the Scarlet Sit Down, a daily target of sports podcast dedicated to covering everything that goes on in Rutgers athletics. In the Scarlet Sit Down, we bring on special guests every episode to discuss the hottest topics in Rutgers sports. I'm head sports editor Ellis Gordon. And I'm associate sports editor Josh Myers. And today we're joined by special guest and junior infielder Josh Crota Grower from the Rutgers baseball team. Josh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here. Excited to be on the talk show. I gotta say, love your first name. It's- Pretty good. I appreciate it. You too. <laughs> so yeah, and the early similarity, but baseball season is underway, obviously. It's about to be underway, rather, I should say. Well, how's your off season been? What has been the preparation like going into your third season on the banks? Um, it's been great. I mean, the fall season it was uh grueling at some times, just a lot of long days at the field, um, really getting after it in the weight room, but ever since we came back in January, getting ready, probably a week away from gameplay, so we're just Really excited and just getting after it. And what has been like one thing you're trying to like one thing you're trying to improve on this year going into your junior year? I think definitely um just my weight and strength. I feel like coming in as a freshman I was probably a buck seventy five and then you get in there and seeing <laughs> guys three years older than you, they're lifting so much more weight than you. So I feel like gradually from my freshman year to my sophomore year to now, I feel like that's something that's kind of been more of important to me. So definitely taking that. Yeah, I mean, what's been your favorite memory? On and off the field on the banks, you've been a couple years now. you have any memories that stand out, both on and off the field? Definitely. I feel like I feel like on the field my freshman year, I think it was the third game of the Big Ten tournament, and we played at like 8 or 9 or something. We had the night game, and it was like uh, rain delay, thunder yeah. delay, lightning delay, something like that. So we had to wait for like an hour or something, so we were just – it was a great memory. It was just being in the locker rooms there, just hanging out with the guys, just vibing telling with the stories, vibing with the boys, yeah. and then getting back out in the field at like 2 in the morning, finishing the game, and winning the game. So that was probably my favorite memory. So that was my second year at the Targum, and I was covering you guys. Um, that was my like first beat. So I remember, I remember. I also remember, like, obviously I wasn't in there, but I was just like waiting, waiting. I was like, oh, man, when is this game going to start? Right. But I'm yeah. sure it's different. This guy's actually playing oh, the game. It's, it's probably it's more not, nerve-wracking. It's obviously more nerve-wracking. Oh, man. I'd I wasn't be, saying that. I'd be was, going crazy. I was definitely not nervous. I'd be, like, I'd be like willing this rain to stop. I'd be like praying. Stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. A- anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I think something that like audience wants to know, like sometimes about like the personalities of the head coaches. Obviously, you've now been with Steve Owens for third year. He's coached here. This is his fifth year, I believe, coming up. What has it been like being coached by him? What's his coaching style? Um, yeah, Coach O, he's... Um, He's the man, first and foremost. He's probably the main reason I came here, other than being living 15 minutes down the road, so that also was a kicker. But um, he's a winner. I mean, you're either going to love him or not, and I love him. I feel like what he brings to the table, just his knowledge of baseball, having over a 1,000 collegiate wins. It's a lot of wins. A lot of wins. Wow. Just the stuff he knows and just the amount of players he's gotten to go play in the next level, I feel like. Like I said, he's a winner, so you just want to be around a guy like that. Yeah. So obviously you mentioned the 2021 Big Ten Championship and some of your favorite memories, but like, I mean, take us through that. Obviously that was a crazy run and it was a lot of fun probably, so just take us through more of that. I feel like being my first year in college athletics, I mean, the main thing is just you want to win, but obviously, you know, you want to find some playing time. So that was my biggest thing, just trying to work my tail off and just find my way in the lineup. And for me, lucky enough, the coaches thought I was able to play at that level at that time. and um. I became the star and second baseman at the time, and it was just, it was just a great group of guys. I mean, I can't really tell you all the wins and losses we had, although we had a lot of wins. But I can just tell you all the memories and just relationships I still have with some of those guys from those teams. I feel like us getting to the Big Ten championship was just a reflection of who we had on the team at the time. Yeah, and then you know, moving away, I guess, from Rutgers more to the professional side of things. You were part of the, you were part of the sum this summer. You were part of the um, one of the 36 players who's an invite the USA Baseball Collegiate National Team training camp. What was that experience like? How did that help you grow as a baseball player? So I feel like just being able to get invited to that was just just an awesome thing. I mean, to be able, or to just even be invited to be able to put USA on your chest, I feel like as a baseball player, that's something you always want to do. I mean, you watch the Olympic Games and the World Baseball Class, and you look at the best Major League Baseball players wearing USA across their chest. So I feel like that's just a pride thing in itself, and I feel like just being able to be invited to go participate and play with a bunch of great players from all over the country. I feel like it's just a great experience in itself. Yeah, and, uh, you know, was looking at a list, Prospect Live. Uh, according to them, that you're the number 86th uh, prospect ahead of the 2024 
MLB draft. So, I mean, what's that like? Is that, you know, cool? I mean, obviously, you're focused on this season, but, I mean, looking ahead, it, that's definitely a little cool for you, right? No, definitely. I feel like being able to get drafted and go play pro ball, that's been something that I've been dreaming about since I was probably been four years old. But, I mean, like you said, I'm trying to be just level-headed and have just – a focus about this year. I just want to win a Big Ten championship with uh, Rutgers and bring some hardware home. For yeah. Me. Do you have like a dream MLB team, like or like a favorite team growing up? Um, it's kind of where I, I watched a lot of the Yankees growing up. Yeah. But I'm a Phillies fan. Oh, me too. Are you a Phillies Let's fan? Let's go. That's what I'm talking yes. about. Yes. So. Are you from South Jersey? Central Jersey. I'm. That's why Phillies. Yeah. To be honest, I have no idea. But yeah, I've, been good choice, I've, <laughs> I've been rooting for the Phils for. He's from South Jersey, South so, South, so he's, yeah. he's, that, that makes sense. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you have like any MLB player like you want to, you know, replicate like their game? Not replicate, but any player you look up to. Um, my favorite player of all time is Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah. But I mean, you can't really replicate. <laughs> the, yeah, that's the, true. The sweet he's lefty swings. I mean, your dad's got to play as well. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And Ken so, Griffey Sr. Exactly. So I feel like. I mean, being a little biased, I like Trey Turner, I like oh, Bryce yeah, Harper, oh. just watching those guys. Bro. Gotta love B-Harper. Gotta love him, you know. That, that home run in the, uh, that home run in the NLCS always gives me chills, always. Who you Unreal. telling? Who you telling? My, uh, my whole family is actually Phillies fans, but I'm a Yankees fan, because I, I was born in the city, but because of that, like, I, I've been around people like, you know, yes. Phillies, <laughs> Phillies I mean, fanatics. I was going crazy My brother's, my brother's big player is just, like, really big into the Phillies. Um, anyway, um... So, baseball players are known to be, like, very superstitious out of, like, all the athletes. Do you yourself have a superstition, or does the team at large have a superstition? I guess it changes with different teams, but I guess last year would be the best. I feel like, I don't want to admit it, but I'm very superstitious, and so is everyone else on the team. Yeah, baseball is such a superstitious sport, for sure. Like, all around. I don't know why. 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 It's just a simple game, but it's, like... A lot of people like think like this is gonna help them win before the game after. Oh. Seriously, I feel like for me it's it's whatever I did before I had a good game. If I have two hits on a Friday, I look back on everything I did Thursday. What did I eat in the morning? What did I had for lunch? What did I do? What time did I wake up? And I try to replicate that as much as possible. And do you switch it up if you have a bad game? Absolutely, Abs- absolutely, right away. You don't take any chances two games in a row. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. All right, I, I, I like that. Like, you know, it's like, it's like habits. Definitely. So I, I want to know how, like, strong the bond is you have with the Rutgers baseball team. Like, how – is it, like, a family there? Definitely. Um, so I feel like coming in my freshman year, I was a freshman. There was a lot of older guys, but they took me in, and it was just camaraderie, just like a family feel. And then this year, I feel like – I think we had – I think we have 17 or 18 transfer players, and that's not even accounting for the freshmen we have. So – it's just a mix of young, old, returning players. So I feel like with the transfer portal being what it is now, I feel like it's kind of hard to get that family aspect. But lucky for us, we have just a great group of guys who just love being around each other. So it's, it's definitely a family feel. I want to take it back a little bit to the 2021 team. I mean, I, I was, again, I was covering the team. So you guys had like set record wins. And then you got, some people thought you got snubbed a little bit from the NCAA tournament. And also because of all, all everything that went down, obviously we talked about it already, with the Big Ten with the Big Ten um, championship, do you feel that way? And if any, if anything, does that give you motivation? I know last year you guys didn't make the tournament, but you also had a good season. But for this year, do, does that thought of you? You were a freshman then, now you're a junior. Does that thought enter your mind? And like, we gotta like, we gotta get in this. Absolutely. I mean, the goal is obviously to win the Big Ten championship. With Rutgers, of course, I want to do that. Everyone on the team wants to do that. But obviously, you want to make it to a regional, super regional. You want to get to the College World Series. So going back to freshman year. Even though we didn't win the Big Ten Championship, we thought for sure we were going to regional. We had a whole watch party for it and everything, and just not get seeing our name get called, that definitely, it definitely hurt for a while. But then, like you said, like it's just kind of igniting a little fire. Like this year, like this is the year to do it. Let's go make it happen. Definitely, yeah. I'm, I mean, I know for me, I don't play baseball. I mean, I used to play baseball, but for me, uh, motivation, you know, always drives me. Like, if I, you know, didn't do well last game, I'm gonna work even harder in the next game. You know, and I, I mean, I'm sure that that also goes for college sports and professional sports too. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So now, more moving on to like a campus-oriented. Thing. Do you have a fam- fa- uh, Do you have a favorite restaurant in New Brunswick or around the area? And and off that, do you have a pre favorite pregame meal? Okay. So it's kind of like. Connects with like superstitions Got a little it. bit. Okay. I like Giovanelli's Pizza. I think it's right on Easton, right on the corner. Yes. I think it's right. Oh, I I've, I went there a couple weeks ago. So it's good. pizzeria, but I think 
I had like a string of like four multi-hit games. I think it was like an Indiana series or whatever. That Thursday before the Friday game, <laughs> I got fried Oreos. Oh man! The next day, two hits. Fried oh. Oreos. All right. Got the got next it. day, two hits. Fried Oreos. So. Fried Oreos equal hits. I yeah, guess. you ain't kidding. So that's probably my favorite place. I mean, they, the food's great. I love the fat sandwiches, the pizza, but my main thing is the fried Oreos from there. So it's cool. Do baseball players like? I don't know. I mean, I've never asked this question to like collegiate, you know, athletes. But do you guys eat? Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how can like you the not? fat sandwich. How can you not? I mean, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, if you're a student at Rutgers, you got it. Come on, it's a staple. Especially yeah, staple. freshman, you see, are you hungry? What is it? I know. It's everyone always hypes it up. And well, it's you got, you know, you got to try and put on yeah, weight. You, you know, got, it's a good, yeah. it's a good, yeah. it's like good for bulking. Like if you want to do it quick. I need bulking. bulking. I need. I listen. <laughs> I, need bulk. I need some bulking. <laughs> I think you better so, go there. I, I, maybe I should go to Are You Hungry more. All right, Josh. Yeah. Take away our All game right. portion of the interview. Before we uh, end this, we got a little game for you. Uh, I'm gonna gonna ask you some questions about your career stats and see if you, if you you know can get them right. Oh man, here we go. All right, let's do it. All right, yeah. So all right, so, so first question I got is how many home runs do you think you have? I don't know if you know for sure, but how many home runs do you think you have in your freshman and sophomore seasons combined? I think it's eleven. It is eleven. Yes. Right. Ding 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 ding. There you go. All right, you're one of uh, four because we have four of these. All right, number two. How many hits do you have? This is a hard I'm one. trying to do the math in my head right now. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna be close. So let me think. One. Two. Twenty-four. One twenty-seven. Actually, it's oh, close man. though. That's close. Listen, that's good. That's good. All right. What about what about doubles? Uh, doubles. Twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three. Oh, yes. Oh, and this is this is. The, I don't know if this is gonna be harder or easier, but triples. How many triples you got? Five? Five, yeah. And I think I'm going to go actually, I'm going to get a bonus. So you're four for four. Let's, let's see if you can go five for five. What's your batting average in, the, in two years combined? It's either the, it's either two, I think it's 298. Yeah, it's either that or 299. But it's close. Very close. Close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have like, how often do you check your stats? Like every after every, like, after every series, after every game, or like it's more of a after season kind of thing? I feel like that's when baseball players especially get in trouble when yeah. they start checking their stats. And it sucks because last year we just got like a new video board and all that, which is great. But then you go up to bat, you see your stats, and it's like, how can you not look up there yeah. and see it? So I try to check my stats zero. I try to refrain myself from looking at anything, and I feel like you play better that way. Yeah. You don't want to be stat chasing. Yeah, for sure. like, how do you like, by the way, the new uh, video board? They also added lights, right? I love it. I feel like... Like Primetime games. Yeah, Primetime games. How can I you love, not love it? I, love, I feel like Baden Field is just, I feel like just the spot around it. I mean, hopefully in the future they plan to do some more stuff, just like build a stadium around it. It's just a great space for, yeah. for baseball. All right, man. Well, thank you for coming on, and thank you guys for watching or listening to the Scarlet Sit Down, your podcast for everything Rutgers athletics. Good luck for the whole season. The Rutgers baseball team will start their season on February 16th away versus Winthrop. Their first home game, they got a couple of road series, and then they go come home. First home game is March 5th at Baton Field versus Wagner College. So good luck to you. Good luck to the team for the rest of the season. Don't forget to follow the Scarlet Sit Down podcast on Spotify and YouTube at The Daily Targum and Instagram at Scarlet Sit Down RU. Stay tuned for more podcasts in the coming weeks.